Hey guys, Adrian here. Thought I'd talk to you today about how I got into programming. Everyone has their own story of how they discovered programming, how they decided that they wanted to start programming. Mine was pretty simple. I wanted to cheat at video games and beat my little brother at a game called Gorillas. See, when I was a kid, DOS was the predominant operating system that ran on PCs. And DOS came with a basic interpreter that was called QBASIC. QBASIC came bundled with a few source files. You didn't really know about it unless you knew where to look for them. But two of those source files were a couple of video games called Gorillas and Nibbles. Nibbles was a snake video game, and the way gorillas worked is there were two players. Each of you played a giant gorilla standing atop buildings in some random cityscape. And then you would throw atomic bananas back and forth at each other by uh, entering in the angle and velocity that you wanted to launch it at. And then you would chuck the bananas at each other over the rooftops. And if on your turn you hit the other player with a banana, they would explode and you would win. My brother and I played this all the time when, when we were kids. And so the way that you would play these games is you would open up QBASIC, and then you would open up the source file, and then you would press F5 to run. Now, in between the time that you open the file and press F5, it would load up the source file, and what you would always see above the fold, they basically made a giant comment that was just information about you know, the name of the game, who wrote it, when they wrote it, maybe a few configuration things that you can you could alter the game. At some point, I started to question why, why it was that you had to open this thing, open the file and then run it, and I didn't understand that. And so I scrolled down and saw a bunch of, of gobbledygook. I asked my mom about it, and she filled me in that it's source code and it's written in a programming language and if you understand what you're doing you can actually you know make the computer do what you want based on the, on the rules that you put in with uh, the programming language so whenever i had a chance when my brother wasn't around i would take a look at that source code and the uh, little bit of instruction that i got from my mom and play around with it and change a value here, change an if statement there. And 98% of the time I was breaking the game horribly to where it wouldn't even run anymore because I didn't know what I was doing. And eventually I started to figure out what was doing which thing where. And I eventually figured out where in the code the collision detection was happening. And I made it, I added a little if statement inside of that that said if you are player one, if you're being hit and you're player one, there's no hit. It just doesn't, it doesn't exist. It just immediately returned and said, nope, we're good. And the only caveat to that was that you had to play as player one. So I just had to convince my stepbrother that I should be player one all the time. And I just used the, the age old classic of, I'm the oldest, I get to be player one. Shortly after that is when I started to actually realize that people were getting paid to write everything that's on your computer. Your computer wasn't just some magical box that just came into existence. There were people that actually worked on it and did all of the things that made it do what it did. And I kind of wanted to do that. The rest of my path into software engineering was pretty generic after that point. I took a few classes in high school. I went to college and got a degree in computer science. So yeah, that's pretty much how I got interested in, in programming. And I think the best advice I can give anybody who wants to get into programming is just, just get into it. Just do it. Just do it! Find something in your life that you could solve with programming and start writing, writing code. You're not gonna write the next Linux right off the bat, but if you start off simple, every time that you sit down and write code, every little program that you write, doesn't matter how basic it is or how complicated it is. One of the first programs that I remember writing when I, when I was a kid was I basically, I literally went to the library and picked up a choose your own adventure book and then took that and wrote it out line by line into, into a program. You're gonna get better at what you're doing and it's going to accumulate over time. And then before you know it, you're actually going to be a proficient coder. That's the best advice I can give you on how to get into programming. If you already know how to program, tell me in the comments below how you got into it. If you like this video and you want me to make more content like this, click the like button. 
And if you continuously like what I do, click the subscribe button. I'll see you guys next time. What are you waiting for?